Oh, hi guys! Kishin 9 here with Let's Play Fable Anniversary! In the last episode, we defeated the Wasp Queen and saved Pitnik Area before murdering some innocents. And in this episode, well, since we're done with that, now we can actually go back and leave. And, um, the game didn't really say anything, but we're supposed to go to Bower Zone now, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to return to Lookout Point, where there's actually some things that we can do here now. Um. There we go. Alright, so first off, you can notice there's a green dot on the map. Uh, we'll be dealing with that in just a second. But you can see there's these uh, little uh, vines here off to the side. If you cut through them, you'll find the game's collectible. The Silver Key, which are a 30 of. Open chest... Wow, that's kind of dis disappointing. Uh, you have set out the Silver Key. Use them to open chests all over the world. The more valuable the chest, the more keys you need to open it. So yeah, expect me to find all of those, because it's kind of important. But anyways, there's a guy making fun of a smelly guy. Let's talk to the guy. Look at this filthy pile of rags. He really expects people to give him gold. Great. Yeah, why not? Try belching at him. It's just so funny. All right, let me get a quick little lesson about expressions. Uh, let's target him and you too. Uh, that why it? don't you belch in his face? See how he likes it. All right. The expressions are far too long. I do this bah. all day. If you can get him to leave, it'll be so funny. Alright, and nothing says I want you to leave like a uh, punch in the face. Because, you really want yeah, to that's not gonna work. In a mirror, Try it's like a freaking sack of pass. Yourself. I'll help if you want. <laughs> you yeah, there we go. Ah, I can't take any more of this. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Nice one, mate. If you see anyone you don't like, it's always worth stopping to let them know. I'm sure you'll discover some great insults. Well, I can't hang around. I've got to ruin his life some more. Hey, Stinky, come back here. He seems like a nice fellow. Anyways, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go to Bowerstone, because there's nothing really else we can do. Because uh, another quest won't pop up in the guild just yet. We have to see... Um, maze. Normally the game actually instructs you to actually go to there, but kind of interesting. Uh, well anyways, let's go inside. And add a new dot to our map. You're new here. And it's suddenly we daytime have some too. Rules around <laughs> here that you need to know about. I was actually worried about that. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's a building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh. And keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. Have a look around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. So, in Bowerstone, we can go ahead and collect some more things once that door opens. You chase chicken, hey? Hello. Excuse me. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go up here immediately. And go out to this balcony, and you'll find our second silver key. So already, we have two. Now, um, I don't believe there's any other silver keys that we can get at the moment, so let's just go ahead and start exploring the city. Starting with the tavern where a maze is found. Hello, maze. 
been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Why not? Well, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Aww. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. Dun dun dun. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. All right, the guild for more quests. With that, now we do have access to more. Oh, hey, Mr. Grout. What? Gout. Oh, yeah. hello. Forgive me. I'm Mr. Gout, the headmaster of the school. You named that for a disease. Not that it's much of a school these days, the way Lady Grey keeps slashing her funding. Can you believe she sold half her library? As if mansions were more important than the education of our children. Anyway, if you could donate any suitable books you find on your travels, you'd be doing us a great favor. Now, this uh, that um, open-ended quest is actually an achievement quest, too. Also, let's follow the weirdly shaped girl. Because it leads to another quest. I, I don't kill chickens, I just kick them. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. poorly. It's me boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... these strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry, but she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? All right, so right where we've got two different things. Uh, this um, little quest right there is actually exclusive to the lost chapter, so well, and anniversary, I guess. But uh, let's see. I guess we can go up here. We can kick chickens a lot more than we could last time. All right, let's go ahead and donate some books. Why not? Because we actually do have a few. Any books for us today, hero? Mm -hmm. Oh look, how to make friends. Just the thing to teach the children some manners. Ah, now I guess I'll keep these uh, cuttings in because some of them can actually be pretty funny. Such a keen interest but yeah, this is, like I was saying, this quest is related to Today's an achievement in the game. So it's a good idea to do this. Not to mention you do get a silver key out of it and um, hero has just some interesting stuff out of it as well. How to make friends by donating this book to the school. Helping people out and giving presents are both good ways to make friends. Can anybody tell me another way to make friends? Sir! Sir! Yes? Tell them you'll smash their teeth in if they won't be friends with you. That's kind of No, effective. Billy. <laughs> Threatening people is not really a good way to make friends with them. I think we need to work on this some more. I don't know, I thought that was a pretty good ah, idea. <laughs> the story of Jack of Blades should keep the little ones in line. Alright. Thank you, hero. Who's the red-robed warrior that brings death and destruction to all of Albion? Jack! Who's the legend in the mask with the strength of ten heroes? It's Jack! Who's the demon? That stalks in the night, dragging their children into hell. Jack? Some say that Jack of Blades has lived forever and is not of this world. But there are those who claim it is not Jack, but his mask that we should fear, and that many men have worn it over the centuries. Whatever the truth, he is not someone to be crossed. 
Alright. Where are you going then? Oh. Even teachers need oh, to already. Sometime. Well, I guess it'll be two for now. Also, I just realized I probably can't buy equipment anymore now. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, let's go to the Bowstone Key, I guess. I mean, if I can't... Yeah, let's just go to the key. Screw it. Because we can actually do some stuff in the key. <laughs> it's weird how they pronounce it key. Because you want to say quay. I'm, I'm pretty sure I said quay when I first did this project too. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, let's talk to the witch. No, don't tell me. You were sent here by an irritating young lady. The one with the comatose kid. Yeah. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursdays. Besides, uh, you're not the first fool she sent my way. Find me four blue mushrooms, and I can brew up an antidote. But there's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. <laughs> the little tyke's probably having the time of his life. Alright, so... That's a quest that we won't actually be able to complete for quite some time. However, let's go ahead and start up yet another one. Which is, involves this guy over here. Hello there. I don't think you've met my daughter, have you? She's rather lovely, if I say so myself. Though a bit fussy. She's keen to meet strong, handsome men like you. Alright, do you want to meet Beardy Baldy's daughter? Yeah, ah, why not? that's good news. I think she was starting to get a bit lonely. Thing is, she only likes men whose hair looks like the picture on this card. And we get the Puddin' Basin card. Hair of choice, fun with scholars. Maybe if you looked like that, she'd let me introduce you to her. Come and find me when you're ready. I won't be far away. Alright, now I won't be able to start this up because um, the store is closed. Not to mention, I do want to save money for, um, is there a bed in here? No, there isn't. Uh, there is something I could do late at night, but I don't want to wait around that long. I do want to kind of get going on stuff, too. Uh, I might have to just sleep in the tavern because I do want to pick up some equipment before I leave. What's the game loads, anyways? Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to the tavern. Because we can find some beds there. Hello. Because <sighs> I just want it to be. Well, let me check first if. Uh... Alright, well, there's the thing about Call of Duty. So it looks like the guy isn't there, though. So yeah, I will have to go to sleep. Yeah, he's not there. Darn. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Normally I don't do this because it costs money to sleep in taverns. But I'm going to make an exception just this once. So as uh, even heroes need rest, you feel the eyelids getting sleepy, you find a bed, make yourself comfortable. Night will turn to day, blah blah blah. Alright, 35 gold? Well, not, not, not that bad. Alright, let's go ahead and go to that one guy near the, uh, door. Get out of my way. Hopefully he's there already. Yeah, looks like he's there. Okay. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is, I want to go ahead and pick up a spade from this guy. Uh, spades are shovels, if you don't really quite remember what the name is. And um, they're useful for finding items, and we you're not given a spade of your own until very late in the game. So I usually just go ahead and buy one early on, and you can dig it anywhere, and blah blah blah. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can purchase any equipment for ourselves to power ourselves up. You've come to the right place. Does it even have dark art or dark leather? Yeah, he has dark leather. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the boots because they're very cheap. And I guess the gloves. Eee. 
Do I think I have enough? Yeah, I have enough. Okay. Alright, go ahead and equip those. The gloves and the boots alone won't provide me much armor, but it'll be an improvement over what I have right now, so I might as well. Yeah, I see I get a small armor upgrade. Alright. Now we look a bit more gothy. <laughs> Alright, well let's go ahead and use the Colus Gate. The Colus Gates are um, basically teleporters. Uh, basically, if a location has a Colus Gate, you're going to teleport between them. So let's go ahead and use this one to return back to the Heroes Guild, because there's nothing else we can really do at the moment. Well, there are things that we can do, but we need more money first. And, uh, let's see, the video is about 60 minutes, so I probably should be ending it soon. Probably a good point, too. Oh, oh now hello. This one looks... Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. Yeah. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Yeah. I'm going to ignore that. All right, so this is the guild master. Choose your path wisely, hero. An orchard farm quest awaits. And we will be choosing in the next episode. So this is Gary Kitchen Nine. This has been Let's Play Fable Anniversary, and in the next episode, we'll be dealing with Orchard Farm. See you then, guys.